them. I just want to know a little more about you, Rena. Oh, I see how it is. You stroll up acting like we're going to have a friendly chat, but really you're just trying to get inside my head. Huh? No, I didn't mean anything like that. Really, I just... That way, you've got another thing coming. What? What do you mean? If you really want to know about me, we're going to have to get closer. Much, much closer. So let's just see how close we can get. Okay, Yuma? <laughs> oh. Okay. It still feels like she's playing with my head, but I guess she's friendly enough. Thank you. 
chica. Okay, 
here too, though it doesn't feel like they're gearing up for an attack. 
You're right. It's almost as if... Kirika, what's wrong? My... my chest... it... it hurts! Kirika! <laughs> it's been quite a while, Lady Kirika. Oh, who's there? You don't recognize my voice? I suppose ten years is a lot to ask of anyone's memory. I can't believe- Ten years? Wait, you mean- Is that- Beatrice? And the prize goes to Lady Kirika. You know, you've grown so beautiful, like a blooming flower. Shame you'll have to be plucked. And Rinna, my darling, you're just as I remember you. A pretty little lapdog who never stops yapping. Consider this dose of miasma my personal greeting. I hope it suits your tastes. Shut up! What do you mean you're greeting? You think this is what we wanted? Careful. She's... she's gone? <sighs> Milady, are you alright? I... I think it's fine now. Guess that spooky miasma stuff doesn't work unless she's around then. Damn it, that Beatrice! She must have learned some new tricks! Beatrice! Where are you? You can't hide! I'm right here. Here. What? 
Damn, she's fast. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe you're all just a little too slow. There's a good little lap dog. If your master's in danger, you leap right in without any thought to the consequences. What? Well, I don't mind. This is our grand reunion after all. I can play with you for a while.
Well, that's enough playtime for now. I need to be heading back. You're running away? I might not look it, but I'm actually on a very tight schedule. I'm supposed to be on a mission right now. A mission? That's what I said. Any idea what this is? It looks like an occultic artifact of some kind. Is something sealed within it? Sharp as ever, Lady Kirika. And you noticed the most important part. This little number is used to seal away a soul. Don't get so worked up. It's not your souls I'm after.
Besides, I already have the soul of a certain something tucked away in here. Something? Not the soul of a person, then. Full marks. Perhaps you've heard of the world dragons? Of course. The Shining Dragon was part of the World Dragons. They battled Deus a thousand years ago. Wait, you don't mean... Very good. Yes, this is a World Dragon soul. I hold the Earth Dragon in the palm of my hand. What? What are you trying to do? I wonder. You're free to speculate, though. Whatever you can think of, I assure you, we're doing something worse. Till next time. Wait! Beatrice! What? One last parting jab? Why? Why did you side with the Empire? Really? That's your question? Isn't it obvious? I want to see Welland burn. Maybe you'll be around to see it, too. Bye now. Beatrice and her stupid comebacks and her stupid smug face. How could she say stuff like that? Rina, what are you doing up this late? Oh, look! Look, it's Yuma! Hey, Yuma! Why don't you sit down and have a little chat with your best friend, huh? Uh, sure. You're acting a little weird, though. I'm pretty sure that juice isn't even alcoholic. Why are you acting like you're drunk?
drunk on juice if I want to. It's a free country. I deserve to get drunk after she humiliated me like that. You mean Beatrice? Kirika seemed like she recognized her too. Who is she? Oh, Beatrice! She's a, a traitor to Welland! A traitor? Say something serious. I'm super serious. I'm always serious. Ask anyone how serious I am. Anyway, I'm listening. Uh, I... I'm kind of on the spot here. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. I want to hear it all about your real feelings. <laughs> Rina. Kirika, a little help? What is going on down here? Oh, Lady Kirika? Lucy, I was just thinking it'd be nice to hear Yuma tell me I'm pretty. I've told you before, I will not tolerate disrespect towards his radiance. No more trouble, please. To bed with you. between you and Beatrice. It's not your concern, Your Radiance. Rinna pretends at being drunk to spout whatever she can get away with. It's all in the past now. Rinna and I, we were only children. It no longer matters. <sighs> Please excuse us, Your Radiance. Erica clearly doesn't want to talk about Beatrice. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut.
So this is the soul of the Earth Dragon. Yes, you demand, and I supply. Well done, Beatrice. Fine work indeed. Oh, I'm sure I couldn't have done it without your precise orders. She speaks the truth, Princess Ixala. Without your guidance, we might have wasted days, resources, manpower. If you have time for idle flattery, you can continue the search for the Dragon Souls. My powers cannot solve everything. I can only sense their presence if I have an approximate location to work from. As you command. Very good. See that the Dragon Soul finds its way to Yoahim. Beatrice, we're leaving. Yes, Your Highness. Make sure this gets to Yoahim. Hmm. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen him around. Yoahim went to scavenge for dragon souls on his own. What? What is he thinking? <sighs> Said he couldn't just sit and wait around anymore. Something about wanting to take his favorite doll for a test run? Without a single word to me, of course. Ugh. Academics. And now I need to see if he knew we had one of the world dragon souls here. I'm sure the man would be tripping over himself to get back. You need someone to go look for Yoahim? I'll handle it. You? Let me guess. You just feel like it. Something like that. I'm going out of my mind cooped up here in the base. A little walk might do me good. Thank <laughs> you. 